that you lost because it was yours and you didn't feel like you should have lost it. But understand this. God said you may have lost it, but you never left my sight. You never left my presence.
Amen. He's been good to my wife. He's been good to my children. That's my baby boy right here. He getting ready to head out and go to work. <laughs> go to work, see? Yeah. That's what I understand. Yeah. God, God, God can put his hand on him. Right. And, and he's giving him a work ethic. Oh, because he always seen his daddy work. Yeah. So he said, since my daddy worked, yeah. and then he's giving me the ethic to work. Yeah. But look at this. I seen my father, my heavenly father, yeah. go through hell.
there's something that tickled your ear, <coughs> something that pricked your heart, something that made you want to turn around and do better. Yeah, because you can yeah, stay yeah, yeah. in a state of chaos and confusion oh. up in here. Just, it, it doesn't work that way. Oh. I mean, eventually, eventually, you're going to say, you know what? I'm tired of avoiding Pastor Grace. <laughs> <laughs>
God said, no, I'm charging you with this. You need to get this cleaned up yourself. What they supposed to get cleaned up for you? No. Come on. I'll deal with them. But right now I'm dealing with you. I used 
today. Ah, uh, see, well, I want to be in a position where I want to, where I can talk about the things that I am going to do for God. Uh, I want to talk about a room full of people being slain in the spirit. Uh, I want to talk about God moving through the service and people getting healed and delivered and they see it. Uh, it don't have to be a whole bunch of touching and shalabah.
Gary Simmons. Oh, Lord. You are my strength. You are my 